Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and this video is about chemical kinetics. Today we will talk about determining the form of the rate order. In my previous video, I have introduced the differential rate law for a chemical reaction. Now for the following generic chemical reaction, which is A plus B, it gives C plus T. The differential rate law could be written as rate is equal to a constant K multiplied by the concentration of A to the power N multiplied by the concentration of B to the power M. Now note that N and M are the rate orders in A and B. You have to remember that N and M can only be determined experimentally and therefore in this case we will have two unknowns and for that we will need to construct two equations. So that's why we usually run three different reactions, where at every time we fix the concentration of one reactant and we change the concentration of the other. Now for trial one and two, we have fixed the concentration of B and changed the concentration of A and measured the reaction rate of each trial. Now in a similar way for trial two, and three, we have fixed the concentration of A and changed the concentration of B and have measured the reaction rate of each one. How this is going to help us determining N and M. Next, take in the ratio between the reaction rates of trial one and two, so we get rate two divided by rate one, it's equal to K multiplied by the concentration of A in trial two to the power N, multiplied by the concentration of B in trial 2 to the power M, divided by K multiplied by concentration of A in trial 1 to the power N, multiplied by the concentration of B in trial 1 to the power M. Now replacing each term by its value, we get 9.6 divided by 2.4 is equal to K multiplied by the values of the concentrations to the power of N and M. So as you can see in here, we can right away cancel the constant K. And since we have the concentration of B is constant, so we can cancel the terms 0.5 to the power M. And therefore, we have 9.6 divided by 2.4, which is equal to 4, and 1 divided by 0 0.5 all to the power n and that's equal to 2 to the power n. Now what would be the value of n in this case? 2 square it gives 4 and therefore n it's equal to 2. In a similar way we can take the ratio between the rates of trial 3 and trial 2. So in this case we get the following expression. Again, replacing each term by its value, we get 19.2 divided by 9.6 is equal to K. Now, notice that the concentration of A is constant and the concentration of B is changing. The same way, we can cancel K and cancel the concentration of A. We're left with 19.2 divided by 9.6, that's equal to 2 and 1 divided by 0 0.5 all to the power m that's equal to 2 also to the power m. So in this case m has to be equal to 1. So what's the expression of the differential rate law in this case? The rate will be equal to k multiplied by the concentration of a to the power 2 multiplied by the concentration of b to the power 1 which we will not indicate it in the expression. Now we have determined N and we have determined M. The remaining is to determine K. To calculate the value of K, you can simply take the uh, uh, values for any of the trials. So you can choose trial one here, for example, and then replace the rate, the concentrations by their values. And therefore we get 2.4 is equal to K multiplied by 0 0.5 squared multiplied by 0 0.5. Now, if you do the math and you rearrange this expression, you get K is equal to 0 0.0521. Now, you would get the same value or very close value 
if you choose trial 2 or trial 3. Now, let's study the effect of the order in each reactant on the overall of the reaction rate. Now consider the following chemical reaction, which is A plus B, it gives C plus D. Initially, we have the same concentration of A and B. Here, it's represented by two particles of A and two particles of B. We know that the rate is equal to K multiplied by the concentration of A uh, to the power 2 and concentration of B to the power 1. So we know that the rate is a second order in A and first order in B. Now initially the rate is equal to 2.4. Now the question is what would happen if we double the concentration of A? If we double the concentration of A we notice that the rate becomes 9.6. Now dividing 9.6 by 2.4 it gives us 4. So doubling the concentration of A it quadruples the overall rate. Now what would happen if we double the concentration of B? If we double the concentration of B the rate becomes 19.2. Now the ratio between 19.2 and 9.6 is 2, which means doubling the concentration of B would double the rate because it's a first order. Now what happened to the overall reaction rate after doubling A and B? Originally, the rate was equal to 2.4. After doubling the concentration of each reactant, the rate is 19.2. 19.2 divided by 2.4 is equal to 8. So doubling the concentration of the reactants would increase the reaction rate by 8 times. I hope this video was helpful to you, so please like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.